I'm Dr. Pauling Fu. In this video, I will demonstrate Microsoft Project 2 uh, about exploring the project user interface, manage files, work with schedule details, use report to check a plan's uh, status. So the file I'm going to use is a take guided tool. So we need to get this data file first. Okay. So to get this data file, you go to the blackboard. On the hands on assignments, take guided tour, double click to open it. Uh, after you double click, it should be on your downloads folder. This PC. Go to downloads. So it is in downloads folder. Take guided tour. My computer does not have Microsoft software, so I used Windows Virtual Desktop to access MS Project remotely. So to do that, uh, you need to go to website, log in with your George Brown credential. After that, you click the start button, you see the project launch it. Um, so you click accept, then click close. In order to open the file, the file, the project file is now on your computer. It is in this case, my computer. So I need to upload the file to OneDrive. Okay, so OneDrive, I'm going to create uh, a folder. So I'm going to create a new folder. The folder name is W. Winter 22. Winter 22, create. So now I have Winter 22. After this folder, I want to create another folder, Comp 1115. And then double click Comp 1115, click upload files from downloads take guided tour oops not this one not this one it is take guided tour open so take guided tour is uploaded to one drive under comp 1115 folder Okay, so once you have file on one drive, go back to the WVD Windows Remote Desk and then click um, New, not uh, Quick Open, One Drive, okay, and you need to sign in. I already signed in, then click add account. So it is five my using your George Brown credential. Uh, the spelling is wrong. I miss letter N. Type in your password. Okay, now uh, OneDrive is visible to me. I need to go to that particular folder. So go to OneDrive. It is on GBC folder and then W22. 
After that, comes 11.15, so this is the file. Double click to open it. Uh, once you open it, so read instructions. I would suggest you save, once you open a file, to preserve original file, you save this file as the so file, save as, it is uh, the same folder, okay, uh, comp GBC W22 comp 1115, the file name, original file name, underscore your initial, for me it is PX Pauline Fu, okay, this is the file name, to distinguish with original file name. And if something goes wrong, you can always go to original file to start all over again. All right, so I just opened the file. Next, you step two. I did step one, step two, point to a command on the ribbon and observe the screen tip. So information is a command. So you point it, the screen tip said, view task information, okay? Uh, you can click Shift F2 or just click this information button. So if I click it, I can see task information. It said general, the name, duration, etc. Okay, so for now, I just click close button. That is step two, point to a comment. Step three, zoom in several times with the zoom slider and observe the changes to the time scale. Okay. So this is a on zoom slider. So this is the zoom slider, okay, zoom slider. Zoom in, zoom out. So when you zoom in, zoom out, you can see it is has changes. Okay. So this is a, this button. So it is changed, the time scale here. Okay. So that is, so initially it should somewhere here, here. Step four, right click any task name, observe mini toolbar and context menu. So right click any task name, for example, this one. Any task name, right click. You should have mini toolbar and uh, um, let's see. Uh, looks like I cannot see the mini toolbar. Oh, this is the mini toolbar. Okay, right click any task. This is a mini tour bar. Okay. All right. So you can perform lots of uh, actions for this cell. For example, you can copy, paste, insert, etc. Oops. Um, where I am? Okay. Try to find instructions. Here. So this is explore the project user interface. Next, manage files and set options in the backstage view. Um, step one, open this project. It's already opened. Step two, save as, and then um, for this one, you need to modify to save into comp 1115 folder. Okay, uh, enter a unique name. The unique name for me is original name 
underscore my initials and click save button. Okay. So this is um, this one. I actually already did that, see? So maybe we do it via save as, uh, it is this folder, give it unique name, it is original name underscore your initials. Okay, and click save, overwrite, okay. So this is this part. Uh, next one, work with the schedule details in views. Uh, step one, display the resource sheet view. And then step two, switch to calendar view, resource sheet view. So if you go this view, view, down pointing area for view, resource sheet, this is resource sheet. Okay. So this is the resource sheet, see resource sheet view. You have the task name, um, uh, type. For the type, it is a uh, work, okay? Sometimes the type is a material. You have for the uh, rate, standard rate, okay, et cetera. So this is a resource sheet view. After resource sheet view, switch to calendar view. After you switch to calendar view, you should have this layout. Okay, calendar view. So this down pointing area under view, calendar view, this is calendar. Calendar cannot be under detail, okay. Switch to calendar view, not detailed pin. Switch to calendar view, okay. So this is the calendar view. Um, specify on which date and how long the task lasted. So you can scroll here. So this is the calendar view. The next. Use report to check a plan's status. Display project overview report, and then switch to resource overview, project overview. Okay. I'll go back to the project. Project overview. So go to view. And then project overview report. So you should go to the report, report, and then new report, um, not new report. Resource overview, resource overview report, resource, resource overview, okay. So that's it for this demonstration. Um, after you finished, you have to save the file. Okay, quick save button. Uh, so the file is saved on OneDrive. So you go back to OneDrive. This is the file you worked with. Okay? And you download the file to your computer, download. Download. Now it is downloaded. 
okay, on downloads folder if you use Windows. See, this is the file. After you download it to your computer, you then go to Blackboard, click this link, and then browse local file. From downloads, click take guided to underscore pf and click open. The final step, you click submit button. Okay. That's how you submit your finished project file to the Blackboard. That's all for this demonstration. Thanks for watching.